We begin this half hour with a dream vacation for book lovers and the remarkable story behind it. It involves an American woman, a Scottish bookstore, and the many visitors who get to live out a nonfiction fantasy. Jonathan Vigliotti reports. There's no easy way to get to Wigtown. Planes and trains stop hours shy of the remote village on Scotland's sea-swept west coast. With so much peace and quiet, it almost makes sense that the tiny town, population 900, has 14, yes, 14 book-themed shops. But nothing compares to the relative newcomer, the open book, whose simple shelves of used novels and nonfiction are attracting book lovers from all over the world. I had a bit of a look into it and thought, yes, it is right up my alley. Right up your alley, what is your yeah. alley? Oh, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, um, books. I'm an English teacher. Christy Vidato is an English teacher with a dream of owning her own bookshop. And here at the Open Book, that dream is brought to life. I'm Christian, by the way. I'm Robin. A rotating cast of tourists get the keys to their very own bookshop. It's part of a unique Airbnb listing by aspiring Los Angeles screenwriter Jessica Fox. What is it about books? that attracts you so much? The lifestyle, it is the lifestyle. You know, it's really odd because I'm not a big reader. This is like, really? Really, no, <laughs> none at all. Um, <laughs> I like the movie versions of things way better. The open book feels like it belongs in a movie, all of it the product of Fox's imagination. I knew it was Scotland. I could kind of see myself in this like woolly jumper. I could like, like hear the rain outside. I could like smell the bookshop. I could see myself behind the counter reading a book. Google led Jessica to Wigtown, and when her Airbnb listing went live in 2015, many followed. There was a couple in their 80s who had just gotten married, and they did this as a honeymoon, so already that's quite amazing. And you've got the bedroom in here, which is... The bookshop really and its upstairs living quarters are booked options. through 2020. And the little rocking chair near the window. Guests at the open book pay about $50 a night to work for free. They can change the window displays, business hours, and even the prices. But with so many bookshops and so few residents, visitors tend to read more than they sell, including words of wisdom from previous shopkeepers. As a lot of people who have worked here have um, have uh, have agreed, if you play James Taylor, people like slow down and like read more books and will buy more books, which is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> He's like the secret to bookshops. <laughs> and some really great little other tips yeah. of the temporary yeah. trade yeah. are penned in the Open Books yeah. Diary. Accept yeah. all or as many possible invitations from local residents who stop by the shop. People in Wigtown are very friendly, so make it a priority to meet them. Oh, thank you. For Christy, this Sit is a holiday for the imagination. The and watch the world go by. A world that in one week's time will be handed over to another wonderlust. What's it like <laughs> to be sitting in the middle of your dream now realized? Now realized. Um, like, I guess then the real question is, like, what do I dream next? <laughs> <laughs> For CBS This Morning Saturday, Jonathan Vigliotti, Wigtown, Scotland. I think I need to book about two months in that bookstore. Yeah, I need a woolly jumper. <laughs> it's pretty amazing when she <laughs> yes, it is.